Hey, you! Yeah, you! Raiders got you down. Ghouls giving you grief? Need heavy horsepower that won't hit you hard in the pocketbook? Then you need to head on down to the Unstable Heroes Interceptor Emporium. You want to fly high on blood and iron? Well, well we, we want to cut, cut you a deal. Welcome to Backlog Quest, where we survey the wild wastelands of our vast game libraries in hopes of finding forgotten caches of digital delight. My name is Boss Sauce. And I'm Roland Kunz. And together, we, we are, are the, the Two-Headed two Hero. Oh, we did it perfect that time. Today, we get a glimpse of Blasted Road Terror, a fascinating blend of real-time strategy and turn-based management framed in the setting of a gas-powered post-apocalyptic wasteland. Blasted Road Terror was released out of its early access run back in April of 2018. The one-man development team, Trisna83, has continually updated the game since its 1.0 release. These updates add a multitude of new mission types, vehicles, and weapons. Trisna 83's hard work ensures Wasteland Commanders will still have much to look forward to in the coming post-release months. Blasted Road Terror takes place long after an undisclosed apocalypse. The setting shamelessly borrows from the 2015 film Mad Max Fury Road, even down to the dialogue from your adorably pixelated raiders. You ride to Valhalla, huh? Hmm, wonder where they got that line. Instead of placing the player in the role of a single intrepid survivor, Blasted Road Terror puts you in command of a wasteland stronghold. Commanders are then tasked to complete raids and missions against the multitude of cutthroat factions across the land. Hey there, buddy! You look like a man who needs a shiny, gently used, new to you, hedgehog interceptor! Yeah! We got 450 hedgehog power under the hood of this here, baby! Tell you what, pal! Here's what we're gonna do. You sign this here 73 month financing agreement, we'll throw in the Berserker for free! <laughs> Graphics in Blasted Road Terror are a clean retro pixel affair, summoning memories of Convoy or FTL. The cohesive and stylistic art reads well, and the multitude of vehicle designs are stylish and unique. The soundtrack is dotted with driving synthesizers and epic movie crescendos, which fit the roaring engine effects and radio chatter from your units quite well. However, weapon sounds mostly lack a satisfying low-end impact, making them feel a little bit anemic at times. At your service. The seat of command lies in behemoth land vehicles known as crawlers. Since your crawlers are initially defenseless, hiring vagabonds and vigilantes to escort your killer convoy is an absolute must for mission victories. At the stronghold, vehicles can be purchased and equipped with procedurally generated loot, with each car or weapon having a specific role. Heroes can be hired to round out your squad's firepower on a temporary basis. The stronghold itself can be improved with the spoils of battle. As your crawlers accumulate successes, they too can be upgraded to supplement your command style. So hey, you got your crawler on some of our Super Saver 38% APR financing. But I can see it in your eyes. You got a taste now for that diesel power, haven't you, buddy? Oh, your instincts don't lie. I can see it in the face of this one, compadre. He's saying, sure, I got a crawler now. But how about those add-ons? Well, partner, dive on into the Deranged Heroes Custom Garage. We'll get right to work slapping on a... a, a slick-looking spoiler. Stereo not up to snuff? How about subs for days? <laughs> or a fully custom 100% ghoul bumper? <laughs> And more wheels! More wheels! More wheels! Blasted Road Terror's combat is almost entirely about timing and positioning, 
but there's still substantial depth to each encounter. Missions can range from short two-minute skirmishes to more involved ghoul purges, all the way to long marathon patrols that contain multiple branching stops. Rather than directly controlling their merry bands of misfits, players can only issue movement orders, slowly direct the crawler itself left or right, and use the occasional special ability. Your mercenaries will automatically attack enemy interceptors in their firing arcs and warn you of incoming road hazards, but overall, their lives are largely in your hands. The AI also isn't perfect. Your warriors do have some occasional pathfinding issues and a disturbing lack of self-preservation. Enemy vehicles are likewise affected, sometimes refusing to move out of the way from upcoming obstacles before gloriously exploding on impact. Other than that, a couple inconsequential user interface problems pop their heads up on occasion. Rare movement glitches can also happen from time to time, sometimes teleporting vehicles in close proximity. It's not that big a deal. While Blasted Road Terror claims roguelike elements, unforgiving difficulty, and no hand-holding on its Steam store page, there's actually much more leeway here than other games that make those claims. The game leaves a lot of its finer points up to player discovery. Mission failure can and will happen in an instant, and usually precludes the loss of all your built-up escort cars. Even still, after crashing and burning, your main crawler vehicle is simply recovered intact to the stronghold for another day of mayhem. Daily rewards, random base events, and the liberal amount of heroes for hire make it easier to work your way back up without a large loss in progress. The detailed attention given to Blasted Road Terror's aesthetics are what drew me in, but a few key decisions in the design of its core gameplay loop are what kept me there. Roguelike mechanics have been in vogue for the past few years, and for good reason. The real possibility of loss that Primadeath provides adds stakes and tension to each playthrough, while procedurally generated elements add novelty and a sense of exploration. These mechanics are often a double-edged sword, however, as when the threat of loss turns into an actual sense of loss, certain players can get discouraged or frustrated, sometimes permanently. The best roguelikes and roguelites, therefore, find ways to mitigate this, like including a satisfying progression system that's persistent between playthroughs. Blasted Road Terror takes this one step further. Mission loss, or even the destruction of your crawler, doesn't wipe your progress or cause an insurmountable drain on your resources. Instead, your customizable crawler and base continue to grow, and the tension comes from risking your vulnerable units. The loss of one of your favorite high-level road ragers, along with their gear, still hurts, but never so much as to make you give up and put the game down. Make no mistake, this game is no narrative tour de force, at least not yet. But if you're looking for a pleasant, relaxing, and scalably challenging grind, have I got a deal for you. Blasted Road Terror was a pleasant surprise. While the indie scene has no shortage of retro graphics roguelike titles, the novelty of real-time strategy combat and variety in mission lengths make this an ideal pick-up-and-put-down casual title. Our backlog quest tends to find the games where the devil's in the details, and Blasted Road Terror is no exception. The enjoyable little touches in the sound and pixel animation make a big difference here, and there's enough difficulty and mission variety to keep Wasteland Commanders coming back for more. My chief complaint actually has nothing to do with the game itself, or its presentation. Instead, I question its chosen platform for release. Blasted Road Terror is a joy on its own, but this game is simply begging for a mobile version, or even a release on the Nintendo Switch. Think of the possibilities, taking the crawler out for a spin down the game's dilapidated highways while in a cab, or purging ghoul roadblocks while waiting for takeout. It's more than enough to earn a happy hell yeah from my helmet. Hey! Did you head on out with your fully customized crawler into those wild, wild wastelands, but your sweet ride wound up as just another stain on the sidewalk? A grease spot on the gravel? A slimy trail on the cement? Well, you're in luck. Raven Mad Hero Hauling is just a single smoke signal away. That's right. For a nominal fee of everything you just found on your excursion, we'll hightail your crawler on back to the safety of your cozy stronghold. Not any of your other cars, though. Nope. 
just the crawler. But wait, don't take it from us. That's right. Have a listen to some of our testimonials. Well, you've done it, old chum. Survived the post-apocalypse once again. They say the wasteland changes a man, yet here we are, stalwart and steady in the face of madness. <laughs> you said it, friend. You said it.